using the last transform to solve the system of linear equations. <clears throat> so you are given two equations in the conditions. So for the, the equation, apply the Laplace transform to both of these equations. Then I have, uh, let me see if I can switch it into the space here. Probably not. Uh, let me do it down here. So apply the Laplace transform to both of these equations. For the first one I have this one. So I'm not going to go over it. I'm not going to say anything because you already know how to do it. For this one, be careful, it's going to be SQ capital Y of S minus tau 2 until you get S to the 0. Okay? And for this one, it's going to be 6 over S squared plus 1. Actually, it's, it is 6 times 1 over S squared plus 1, that, which is 6 over S squared plus 1, okay? For the second equation, I have S times capital X of S minus X of 0 plus 2 capital X of S minus 2S cubed capital Y of S plus 2S um, where Y 0 plus 2S to the first Y prime of 0 plus 2Y double prime of 0 equals 0. Okay, now take a look at the conditions. Oh, I love to see these because they are zeros. So S of 0 equals 0, uh, Y of 0 equals 0 y crown 0 equals 0 and let's see I think I'm missing y double prime yeah actually right here is y double prime y crown y and double crime because you know, we don't have x crime so y double crime equals 0 okay alright so it looks simpler now So for the equation on for the first equation, I'm gonna take a look at the capital Y of X, uh, yeah capital X of S's. Factor out X S. Then have S minus four. Mm, this one plus S Q capital Y of S equals six over S Y plus one. Now here doing the same thing. S plus two. Minus two S Q capital Y of S equals zero. All right. Now uh, divide for the first equation divide both sides by S minus four to get capital X of S along. I have six over S minus four times S square plus one minus S uh, capital Y of S times S cubed over s minus 4 <coughs> okay for the bottom equation uh, divide both sides by s plus 2 i have this all right now since x of s uh, equals this and it's also equal to this so i'm going to set these equal to each other and then solve for y of s Capital Y of S is on both sides, so I'm going to move this to this side and factor it out. And at the same time, I swap the position, right? So move this to this side, have this, and on the left side, have this, but I just swap the position. Okay? And now, uh, what I'm going to do next is to multiply uh, both sides, uh, not both sides, but uh, for this one, everything in the in the parentheses, I'm going to combine them together. So multiply this by s minus four, top and bottom. Multiply this by s plus two, top and bottom. So we have two s cubed times two s to the fourth minus eight s cubed plus uh, s to the fourth plus two s cubed over s plus 2 times s minus 4 equals rewrite this. Simplify this, 2s4, 2s to the 4th, 
3s to the fourth. Uh, minus 3 s cubed, plus 2 s cubed, negative 6 s cubed. Right? Now, uh, the, uh, multiply both sides by s plus 2 times s minus 4 over s. Uh, actually, multiply, try, we always try to get rid of this. Yep. You're gonna get a uh, capital Y of s along. So multiply both sides by the reciprocal uh, 1 over this, okay? So I have this. Let me just rewrite it if you can see it. In case somebody have question and they put it in the comment and it's hard for me to explain it there. Okay, multiply this. Over this, so I'm gonna f uh, should have factor it out. Uh, yeah. Then I'm going to factor it out. So factor out 3s cubed. And I left with the s minus 2. Okay? So s minus 4, s minus 4. Top bottom cancel out. 6 divided by 3. So I left with 2. s plus 2 over s squared plus 1 times s cubed times s minus 2. Okay? <sighs> Alright. So you're going to use partial fraction decomposition method to rewrite this. Uh, there's no other simply of way of doing that. I'm a person who would like to use a shortcut, but I cannot in this case because uh, that's the only option I have left. Alright, so this one. Can be obtained from the summation of A over S plus B over S squared plus C over S cubed plus D over S minus 2 plus E S plus F over S square plus 1. Okay? So, the the LCD is everything on the, on the denominator here. So, multiply both sides by that LCD I have. This one. Alright, now that S approach 0, on the left side I have 4, on the right side it eliminates this, this, this and this, so I left with this, negative 2 times 1, negative 2C, two then C equals negative 2, let S approach 2, on the left side I have uh, 8, on the right side I have, it eliminates this, 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 and this, so I have uh, 2 square 4, 5, 5 times 840D then D equals 1 fifth let S approach uh, yeah that's it now let's take a look at the leading coefficient of S to the fourth actually S to the oh yeah S to the fourth you can do whatever order you like and you can go from S to the fifth S to the fourth S to the third so I like to go with the one I want to see so go with S to the fourth. And for this one, it's easier for you to uh, just multiply it. You cannot see it. I'm not recommend you multiply all things out, but uh, this one multiply this together. S cubed plus S minus two S squared minus two. Okay. So S to the fourth. So I have S S squared, right? Multiply negative two S squared. So I have negative two A. S to the fourth. On the left side, I have zero. On the right side, I have negative two A. But this one, so this is the same, so you just refer to this one, but you have different leading coefficient, okay? So S times S cubed, so just B. And for this one, S to the fourth, right? So nope. This one, nope. This one. And you have a lot of things going on here. So let me uh, <laughs> multiply this back. S to the fourth minus two S cubed. Okay, so uh, S to the fourth. So you have F and uh, E, negative two E plus F. Okay. So, no, nothing. Let's take a look at the leading coefficient of S to the third. Uh, the left side zero, on the right side 
So you have A. Over here you have negative 2B. Over here you have uh, C. Here you have D. Here you have negative 2F. Okay, take a look at the leading coefficient of S to the second power on the left side, is 0, 0 on the right side. You have negative 2A mm, plus B. Over here, negative 2C. Okay. And down here, nothing. S to the first, I have two equals S to the first. No, not this one. B, you have B. Negative 2B. Make sure you watch carefully, okay? Negative 2B. Uh, over here, plus C. And here, oh, okay, that's it. So you know C, negative, which is negative 2, then B has to be negative 2. So negative 2, positive 4, negative 2. B has to be negative 2. Okay, so you know B, C, B. B, C, so you can find A. B, negative 2. Negative 2. C, negative 2, so you have 2. So A equals 1. So you have no A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D, A is 1, B is negative 2, 5, C is uh, negative 2, 3, 3, D, uh, 1, 5, 16, over 15, uh, 16, over 5, right? 3, 15, 16, over 5, 16, over 5, divided by negative 2, so negative 6 over 5, no, negative, uh, A, F equal 8 over 5. Okay, and then A, B, E, F, so you know A, B, F, that E, A, 1, negative 2, B is a uh, negative 2, negative 2, negative 4, negative 4, and negative 12, 5, negative 12, 5, divide by this one, divide by 2, so negative 6 over 5, alright, now you know everything, plug them back in here. Okay, so for this one, it now becomes A over S and A is 1, 1 over S, plus B over S where B is negative 2, C over S cubed, negative 2, plus D, uh, 1 fifth, S minus 2, E, so I split this out into two fractions. E is a uh, negative six over five. S over S squared plus one. Plus F is uh, A over five. S squared plus one. Okay. Now apply the A. And the last one, the entire inverse on both sides. I have y of t equals one minus two t minus for this one. So S cubed. And you need to have two factorial on top, two factorial on bottom. This one gives me t square in negative two divided by two, which is one. Over here, I have one fifth e to the two t. Over here, this one gives me cosine, so you have negative six over five cosine t. Over here. This one give me size, so I have A over 5 side T. So this is your equation of, sin of Y of T, and now you have to go back here to solve for X of T, so I'm going to use this equation, okay? Now let me call this, uh, this equation 2, no, 1, okay? So from equation 1, from, a, from equation 1 I have X of S equals... 2s cubed over s plus 2 times y of s and y of s is equal to this okay now say do some simplification to simplify it s plus 2 s plus 2 s cubed s cubed okay 224 so you have 4 over 
S Y F S one times S minus two. Okay, now that's the S of S again. Uh, use partial fraction. So this can be obtained from the summation of A over S A S plus B over S Y F S one plus C over S minus two. The LCD is everything on the no denominator here, so multiply by that LCD on both sides, I have 4 equals AS plus B times S minus 2 plus C times S squared plus 1. Let S approach to, it, I have 4 equals, it eliminates this to square 5, 5C, five then C equals 4 over 5. Take a look at the leading coefficient of S squared, 0 equals A plus C, A, C is 4 over 5, then A has to be negative 4 over 5. Take a look at the leading coefficient of S to the 0, now 4 equals negative 2B, or negative, yeah, negative 2B, plus C. And then, so C is 4 over 5, then B has to be negative A over 5, if I'm not wrong. So B negative 5, so 16 over 5, 16 over 5, and C is 14, 16 plus 4 is 20, 20 over 5, 20 over 5, 4. Okay, we good? Now back this back in here to solve for X of T. No, X of S I mean. Yeah, so A, so I split this out. So you have negative 4 over 5 S over S squared plus 1 minus A over 5 S squared plus 1, C is... 4 over 5, s minus 2, now use the, apply the L inverse on both sides, have x of t equals, this one gives me cosine, so negative 4 over 5 cosine t, minus, this gives me psi, a over 5 psi t, and this simply 4 over 5 e to the 2 t, okay, so this is your equation of x of t, and this one is your equation of y of t, so, if you find the video is helpful, feel free to give it a like, share, and subscribe to my channel in order to receive the most current videos. Don't forget to hit the bell so that you won't miss anything. I'll see you next time.